That is quite deep. And it's almost like a middle of the day on the old curiosity shop. Uh, you know, that their windows, it's difficult to see. Nah, there's nothing actually that goes underneath the road there, but the other thing I've just come and noticed as well. It's all the same property. And just look at it. It's also overgrown down there. Nobody's bothered with the place. By the looks. There's something else that caught me eye. Where's it gone? I mean, the stonework on this is just dropping to bits, but. You can actually look through that gap down there. You can actually see the door. You know, that door once opened up out on the street. There's no two ways about it. And if it didn't, where's it open up onto then? Because there's nowhere to go down there. It's weird, this one. It's one of those little gems of a property that hasn't been touched. Uh, for a while. Let's look down there. There's air bricks all the way along around here. But it's it's quite deep. There's no Obvious doorway going under the street on that one ball. fascinating around the front there there's doesn't look to be that far underneath street level but we're actually going slightly uphill here and this street is mind-blowing because the first property you come to not only downstairs but as you clearly see in the corner there that's a room going underneath the street. We also, we move around a little. We have the door leading into the building. And this must be a good 16 foot, 18 foot. These are shut up, so I can't really go down. But we have exactly the same there, and there is a door underneath. I just mentioned about these buildings going down the sea level. I can't see we have that on the brain. Is another building <coughs> going downstairs? I won't go down too far, but as you can see. There is proper areas that go right under the road. The roots of these properties look almost pre-war. 
or it's like something of a lumpset. I won't go right on this one, but as you can see, all these properties around the back are the same. Goes down, off to the right into the building, and off to the left underneath the street. And we're coming to the end of the street. But what I'll do, I'll just pan round and show you probably is on the other side of the street. All below street level. Now we'll carry on back walking round this block. This is the side of the hotel I'm stopping at. Boarded up windows. I'm at street level. And I get another property. Very dark and very dingy down there. I can actually see the door bricked up going in the building on the right. And I ain't going down no further in that one to see where else is down there. But you get the general idea. It's uh, Quite mind blown, really. And this is the final one, it's a lovely little colour property. It's a private residence, and this building is the back of the red building I started off. That's so, what we'll do, we'll have a wander around. Beautiful little house in the mud. Drop the windows. You've got to ask yourself that question though, what came first, the house or the mud? It's clearly below the road. Cars in the way. But what a beautiful little property. As you can see the people walking above there. Nice little garden area. Or below the road. In mud. But what a viewer. Eh?